Let's turn to our Dr. Frank McGeorge to answer a new batch of these questions that viewers have submitted through clickondetroit.com. Hey, Frank. Several viewers have asked whether taking antibiotics before or after a shot will interfere with the vaccine. The answer is no. You should take all prescribed antibiotics as directed. Now, here are more of your questions. Catherine asks, why is the second vaccine more prone to cause a reaction than the first shot? Is it more potent or made differently? The second dose of the vaccine is actually exactly the same as the first. The reason more people react to the second shot is that their immune system was primed by the first dose. That's how your immune system works. Generally, the response to the second exposure is expected to be stronger. But in terms of a two-dose vaccine, that translates to more potential side effects the second time around. Now, a viewer is wondering, I have had the COVID-19 virus and recovered. How long do I have to wait to get the vaccine? I was told 90 days, but just recently read online that they are now saying six months. How long do I wait? The reason for the wait is that while vaccine was in short supply, people who had a recent infection were already protected for at least 90 days and could wait to get vaccinated. Now that the vaccine is more widely available, you don't need to put it off. The CDC says you can get vaccinated as soon as you're recovered and your quarantine period has ended. Now, finally, Nancy says, I received the first dose of the Moderna vaccine without any significant event. Eight days after the vaccine, my arm became hot, red, itchy, and swollen around the injection site. The next day, I had another red swollen spot. The third day, another red swollen spot. And the second day's small spots grew larger and blended into one. What is causing this? What do I do about it? And do I get the second dose? Okay, so this is a documented rare reaction that's actually been dubbed Moderna arm. It appears to be a delayed hypersensitivity skin reaction. It can be treated with ice and antihistamines. Now, of course, there is a risk that you'll have the same reaction to your second dose, but it is still recommended that you get that second shot to be fully protected. Back to you.